The question is PB4 plus salts are better oxidizing agents while GE2 plus salts are better reducing agents. Say we can take the salt as PBCL4 and GECL2. These are better oxidizing agents where this lead has got the oxidation state of 4 plus. You must be knowing oxidation state. It is the number of electrons it is losing or sharing or gaining, which the number of electrons atom of an element loses, gains or shares when it forms a compound. Now we know that, say, uh, let's, uh, which, to which group these elements belong. They belong to group 4, that is carbon. The group 4 elements are carbon, silicon, germanium, tin and lead. Now, in this case, what is the oxidation state? Or uh, let's see what is the configuration. It is NS2, NP2 of this group I am talking of. Down the group, what happens? The stability of higher oxidation states reduces. So, which will be more stable in this case? PB2. That is the outer P electrons. Right? This is uh, it due to the inert pair effect. One of the thing is why it happens. This is because of the inert pair effect. And there are lots of energy considerations also which I have already told you. So due to this PB2 plus salts are more stable. That is why what happens that PB4 plus this accepts two electrons forming PB2 plus. That is if I am taking here PBCL4 this will quickly take up uh, the electrons or it will quickly change to PBCL2. Whereas germanium, in case of germanium, the plus 4 oxidation state is more stable. In this case, what is it saying? GE2 plus is a better reductant. That is, it can lose its two electrons more and form GE4 plus, right? Plus of two electrons. That is why it is saying that PV4 plus salts are better oxidizing agents while GE2 plus salts are better reducing agents. The reason lies here in the inert pair effect. That is, as we move down the group, there are say four points. First of all, as we move down the group, the size of atom of element increases. Right? Number of shells are there. Now, due to intervening D and F orbitals, there is poor shielding effect. Due to poor shielding effect, the S electrons or the S subshell, NS sub or NS orbital is more penetrated. That is, faces more force of attraction by the nucleus. That is why the NP electrons only participate in the reaction. Now, as the S orbital is more penetrated, we can say that more energy is required to take out these two electrons. Right? And the ion form would be then PB4+. plus. The charge is very, very high. And so what happens? The size decreases. So this, the bond which is formed will not be, uh, will not release the energy which is sufficient for removal of these NS electrons. Got my point? Say if PBCL4 is formed, this bond is a covalent bond. 
because the size of atom is small, the, the cation is small, the size of anion is large and there is more of distortion and distraction of anion leading to the formation of a covalent bond. So the energy released in the formation of this plumbic chloride bond is not sufficient for the removal of this NS electron. Right? That is why the higher oxidation states, we can generalize this, that higher oxidation states are less stable down the group. Or you can see the stability of higher oxidation states reduces down the group.